Hello everyone, this is Diane. This is still Saturday, when I, the same day that I organized this tray. I'm gonna just continue on and work on organizing this tray. Um, I did find these large index cards and divider cards. So I put them in the back, in the way back here. And there was still plenty of room there. And then I also found these pages from another of those gift in a jar books. So I'm keeping a few. I'm gonna just cut these out and so I can put them in my box and then these are gonna be de-stashed. <clears throat> so this is the de-stash pile from the organization of this tray. And I'm going to put this on my shelf and get it out of our way. start on this one. I think this one's going to be a little more challenging because it's not just index cards. It's a variety of other things. So to finish clearing out this container, so if you didn't see all the different containers, I am um, combining and emptying. Uh, that was in yesterday's video. So this is what's left and I have these plant cards and I will be so happy to have them in this container on the shelf above my heads because now I'll know where to look for them. Every time I want them, I, I'm like, I don't remember where I put them and I look and I don't find them. Um, and I have a few that I already, well, those are just plain, but some I added some chenille to, so, and some journaling on the back. So these are all ready to use, but I'm keeping them all together. And uh, for now, I'm gonna put them in the very back of this container. And I will link this container in the description below, but I talked about the new containers that I got in yesterday's video also. Um, so I'm putting them in the back for now until I come across something that's gonna be taller than that. These wide tags are too wide for the sewing machine boxes that I have my other tags in. This one is not too wide. So I'm going to put that sewing. Whoops, oops, I'm so sorry. These are digital Kate Greenaway tags, and they're very wide. So these wide tags will go also in the back here. And then these are Rolodex cards, and these are library catalog card blanks. And they are going to go in the first box that we already did, so I'll put those away later. Okay, now, moving on. I decided, one thing I didn't tell you was, I took some of these plain cards that were from the recipe boxes, the Betty Cracker recipe library, and I cut them, a couple of them, three and, let's see, it's two and three quarters wide and three inches high. So I can just slip that in between my two stacks of index cards. So, because I did that, I had to remove these wide ones that were in the back. So these will just go, these are, um, yeah, recipe cards. These will go in my cookbook journal supplies. So I have a couple cut in case I need them for this. I don't know if I will. So let's figure out what we're going to put in here. I have two boxes of possibilities here and maybe they can all fit in here. Let's find out. I wanna start with this. This is a box. I showed you all these boxes in yesterday's video, but this is the one that contains a lot of vintage papers and notebooks and um, desk diary type of things, along with some other assorted little vintage book pages. So I already de-stashed that the other day and I have those items that I'm not going to keep in the other room where I put all of the things that I'm going to put into bundles in my shop. So it's already de-stashed, I don't have to worry about that unless I decide to get rid of some more. So in the back, I'm going to put these tall pages and I'll move, they're a little taller than these things that I already put in there. So I move them to the front. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I know you're looking right down on it and it might be difficult. 
This uh, is a desk diary from 1950. And I don't want to take the pages out of this. It would save room if I did, but it helps me remember what year this is from and also protects the pages. These came out of various address books, birthday books, things like that, different. There's another uh, appointment book. It's from 1967. Ledger, um, just a, it's kind of like a ledger notebook that you'd keep in your pocket. Just, you know, miscellaneous pages. There's a memo sheet, tablet. Oh, this is from a railroad company. And there's room that I can put some things on the side if I want to, things that aren't too wide, less than three inches wide. And I could remove a divider. I can't like adjust one to be um, wider and the next one narrower. I can just remove one and combine, combine two compartments into one. So I could do that if I need to. I got these little boxes from Amazon and it was a set of two. So I guess I'm just going to transfer everything. I don't really need to do a lot of thinking since I already de-stashed. I'm just going to transfer everything and see how it works. And these are not old, but I thought this was a good place to keep them. I just removed them from something else. I thought, well, maybe I'll use them more if they're up in with this stuff. Now these are not, let's see. These aren't really journaling things because they're already written on. The autograph pages could be journaling pages. Those are blank. They could be journaling pages. The other ones are more decorative and just to tuck into pockets. These autograph pages are written on and they're, they're pretty old, 1938. And then a little hymn, the Christian Psalmist book. And it's just got really interesting looking pages. So I like to use them for collage and just interesting items to stick in pockets. This could be for journaling. These came from this radio station like a ham radio operator notebook, but these are all written on, so these are separated from the pages you can journal on. You could write on the back, but I'm keeping them with this, and then this birthday book from the 1800s, and this beauty tips book. I took some pages out of that and added it to my D-Stash collection. So I'll put that, I'll put all this stuff here. I better put the tags back in somewhere. And I've got this little memoranda book that's skinny enough to go sideways. And these little skinny notepads that came out of vintage little folders that would go in a pocket. This one says 1960 on it. And that one's not dated, but they can go along the side too. And these are not vintage but they are little address pages that were attached to something. I think I got these in a happy mail, I'm not sure, but I have blue and white ones, so they can go in there. And they can actually be journaled on, so they're in that section. This is a little Hallmark book that can be journaled on. 
So I can take one of these little cards that I cut and put it down there. It doesn't have to be in the center, but it'll help separate the, those from those. And it's not like they're facing the same way and they're going to slide into each other. They're opposing each other, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And that is everything out of this. I have these little cards. They're like business cards that were all on one sheet perforated and you're supposed to be able to print them, put them through your printer. Um, so I'm just going to tuck them in there for now if I decide to keep them. That takes up quite a bit of this container and I have all of these journaling cards. So I don't think they will all fit in here. So what I might do is take these out that aren't really made for journaling cards and see how much of this stuff I can fit in here. I can move some stuff back because this wasn't full. Actually, if I remove this divider, because I don't think it needs to be divided, it gives me a little bit more room. And that gives more space on the side, so I could put these over here. Now look at all the room I have. All right, now, in the back of this, some of these, I haven't de-stashed this one. I mean, I have more than once, but not just this week. Um, these are from calendars. And I don't think I'll keep keep them. I cut them off from some calendars that I was given, and but they're a little bit. I think they. I think the ink would smear on them because of the finish. I'm just not going to keep those. This is something I printed. Uh, I don't know yet. We have some paper dolls here. There's no reason for them to be in here. I want this to be things to journal on. So these are some large journal cards. Now what I don't know is, do I want to um, keep all the vintage stuff together and then all of the new stuff in the front? That little card I put just is not working. Or do I want to keep them by size and have the old mixed with the new? I think I want to keep them separate. So I'm going to try it this way for a while. I can always fix it. I do have old next to the new here. And then these, I can cut those out and have them all ready to go. Because I thought they were really fun. Um, so I, I'll just cut them and put them in here. I'll save those till I got more stuff in there. So these are just large journaling cards. Um, these are from when I worked at worked for Hallmark. This came from a handwriting book. I like that. Came out of some scrapbook paper. And these are large project life cards. I think I'll give, and this came from a photo album. I cut a photo album apart. The things slide under. These dividers don't go all the way down. And there's quite a big gap at the bottom. So if there's space for things to slide, this slides down and under. So I'll have to make sure that they stay full enough that they can't just slide around. So I'm going to put Project Life cards in one section. That's from scrapbook paper. I could put that in with the project life cards. I think these are fun, the tabbed cards, and I cover them when I use them, so I'll keep them for a while. And these are some I don't know what they're for. I think I got them in a Happy Mail. 
I'll keep those because they're fun. I hope I use them. Oh, and I have a lot of Tim Holtz cards in different sizes. They came, I think they all came in one set. And they all were different sizes. And my paint chips, they can go in here too. So, I guess the tall Tim Holtz cards will go here. These are vellum and they're not journaling places. So they will go somewhere else. These are not really journaling cards either. All right, continuing on. These are the Project Life cards. This is scrapbook paper that was cut apart. Some little journaling papers. I can take them out of their covers and it'll save some space. I've used quite a few of them. And some more Tim Holtz cards. Just a little bit too wide for that. I don't know if they're actually journaling cards either. That one is. I'm going to keep them in here because this is where I'm going to look for them. Paint chips, shorter ones. That's a paint chip with a journaling spot on it, so I'm going to move that to the ready made ephemera. I'm going to destash these. I got them from Stampin' Up, and I never use them. This is a tablet of journaling paper. I don't know that I can get all this stuff in here. Oh, these are cut from books and the intention is to glue them to glue something to the back that they can be journaled on. I think I'll take these. These are fashion images from a book. I'll put those somewhere else. And I think I will keep these in here so I remember to make them into journaling cards because I like them. That came from a magazine. Same deal with that. I could put that in my farm stuff just to make more room in here. These were cut out of a recipe book. Tim Holtz cards. That's a, I don't know if that's a digital or not. I've got a whole section here that's empty, so let's move them up. Yeah, I don't remember. I think these might be digitals, but I don't usually print on cream colored cardstock, so I don't know. I'm going to put them in with my digitals, though. These are... think they're vintage. So we had some of these in the other container. So I'll move them up there. Daily time slip, unexcused absence card, and excuse cards. 
These came from a school and I bought them at a thrift store or flea market around in this area because they're from my local school here. And I think they're really cool and I need to be putting them in journals. And there's routing requests. I think somebody sent those to me. So I'm going to put those with these. I think. I think I have these in the other container that we already filled. And daily time slips. So they'll stay here. Those are fun items. Okay, now there's some more vellum. Some more Project Life cards in a smaller size and cards cut from scrapbook paper. I have de-stashed so many of the Project Life cards. I got boxes of them at a flea market, really, really cheap. And I've de-stashed a lot. So I'm just gonna try to keep these. And if I have to de-stash some more, I will. I just don't want to get to the point where I'm saying, where did all my Project Life cards go? But it's not like I use them all the time, because I don't. But if I can make them all fit in here, I will. I've got Mrs. Cog's cards in here, but they're digitals. So they're going with the digitals. Those are Amity Bloom things. Some more of these. Did I already put them somewhere? Yes. So they're back there. And then these little notepads that have journaling cards, they can go sideways there. We're almost done. We're gonna empty this, and then I can put my digitals in here and get rid of that black canvas one. These are fun. They came from a paper doll book. So they, could, they would make really fun journaling spots. So this is the section that's gonna be the little pieces, which this was nice for because it's a little bit lower in the front. I can put these here. So I think these are gonna, might be hard to get to because they're so short. Now these are digitals, but they're my digitals. I mean, they're not in my shop or anything, but I actually have these cards or used to. I think I used them in journals, but I made copies of them. So it's not like I keep my digitals separate so that I don't de-stash them and sell them because you know, I'm not supposed to. These are just little note tablets. Not sure where I got them. These came with Project Life cards and obviously you're not gonna journal on them, but I want to make something fun with them. Got some more Project Life cards here. And this one too, that's really cool. but I got rid of a couple things. Oh, let's see, I hope I've been in frame for you. I'm sorry if I haven't been. It's another Mrs. Coggs. I think I'll just get rid of that one. Came out of a photo album. Those are just plain ones that I could decorate. These are envelopes, but they're in here because they have a journal card in them. And I really need to use them. I've, they're from Stampin' Up, and I've had them for a long time, but I really like them. So I'm 
hoping that I'll use these things more if I have them organized more efficiently. I'll just put these in here. I'm not gonna de-stash them anyway, I like them. I think they came in a Your Creative Studio box, those two pictures. All right, so I have a few things that will have to go somewhere else. I've got all these little things to go in the front here. And I still have a little room right there. So uh, maybe I can put these things in here instead of that other box. Let me grab that. Oh, they're not in here? Where are they then? Didn't I just put them in the side of this? Am I crazy? these that oh they're the same ones I guess they're the same ones I thought I already organized and I'll slide these down here too so I've got I've got space over here and there's room to grow in this box which I don't need to grow but there's room in there and I'm pleased with that so these two trays are full and they I emptied a lot of stuff to get here I have one more box to organize, and that's not really, I'm not going to get rid of the, I am going to get rid of this, but I'm actually going to replace it with that other box. So it's not like I'm saving space by doing it, but I'm going to make it better. So this can go back up. Sorry. I'm putting it on the shelf that the camera is clipped to. safely on the shelf. I lose some of my sh shelf space by doing my videoing this way because before my camera was on a tripod on the floor next to me. Now it's on a shelf and I had to move, remove items from two different shelves because I can't access them while the camera's there. So this is my box of digitals that are already printed and if I put them in here, there'll be lots of room and then I can print journal cards and journal cards that I want to have ready to use and have them in here. If these are, yeah, they fit in there. So some of these are large pieces and they don't really need to be elevated because this is a, like I said, it's like stadium seating where the, it goes up higher. So they don't need to be elevated, but that's how it is. So these are just large digitals that I have in my stash. I can't, if I de-stash any of these, they just go in the trash because I can't give them away. So, and I have, I don't like to do that because I printed them with my ink, but if I printed something and I'm no longer interested in using it, I get rid of it because it just takes up space. I've gone through these recently, so I'm not even gonna take the time to do that because I know that I wanted to keep all of these. So right here, I have a bunch of fruit crate labels and I've used a lot of them, but this, whatever digital set this was came with a whole bunch of them. So I still have a lot left. And I'll just put some of my taller pieces back here because I'm still I still have a lot of room in this section. I don't want to put these back there. I want to differentiate between the quite large pieces and regular size pieces. So I know which section to look for, look in if I want to grab something that's larger. 
or just average. Got some folders in there. I have a whole collection of these. These are so beautiful. They had a lot of containers in different materials. And I've got a bunch of these fashion ladies. I think maybe my fashion ladies need to have their own section here. Let's let's see. Those are they look like postage stamps. And then I have a bunch of these too. And I think they're from Tailor Made Journals. I'm not sure. So these are the pitchers and glassware things. So there's that Williamsburg type of pottery. This says West Troy, New York pottery. Porcelain or china, glass. More of that clay, baked clay stuff. There's a lot of different ones in that digital set. So I'll put these with the fashion ladies. They're just like old photographs. keep these out because I think I have more of those somewhere. That's not a digital. a lot of Mrs. Cogs that are already printed and I try to keep them together with the topic that they are. So I'll keep these out separate and see what I want to do with them. They're just left over from other projects. And see these are ladies. The whole thing that I'm thinking about as I'm reorganizing stuff is how can I make it so that I use these things so that they're more accessible to me. So I'm hoping that this is going to help. these floral ones. Oh yeah, here's a lot of those fashion ones. I'm gonna, these are, oh, these are Mrs. Coggs. I'll put those with Mrs. Coggs. I don't know what I'll do with all those, but maybe they'll have to have their own box. I don't know. linen pieces that are lovely. There were these three long ones and then um, two different sizes of more round pieces, I think, two or three different sizes. And I, it seems like I put the littler pieces in one of my placemat ephemera holders, but I guess I'll find that out as I'm going through stuff later. Okay, so here... I thought I had a whole bunch of those in that batch. Oh, here they are. I wasn't done. <sighs> I 
there's just so much. So these are all these 1950s fashion cards, and I believe they're from TaylorMade Journals, but I don't know if I'm right. And then these stamp ones, they might be from TLC Creates Vintage. I'm gonna put them all together. These are my own digitals. I'm not sure what to do with those yet. I don't have any digitals in my shop at this moment. I took everything out. Oh, here's some more of those linens. More Mrs. Cogs. That seems like it might have come from scrap paper, but I don't know. I think these are from Raindrop Lila, and they're so pretty. I love that. Those pink daisies are what sold me on that little set. out piles that I don't tend to and I get more piles out. We're getting to the end. These are Mrs. Cogs too, but they're very different from her typical. So I'm keeping them in here. They're linens, embroidered things. Those are Mrs. Cogs. These are some more that go with this set. Aren't they pretty? Oh, I just love them. These little library cards are cute. Just assorted little cards left over from other projects. Or sometimes I'll just go through my digital files and select some journaling cards I want to print to have all ready for me to grab. just think this one is too flexible and it was so full that it wouldn't stay closed and I don't know I think this will just be easier to maintain but we'll find out won't we I will separate the two sizes of those though All right, oh, I'm not done, I'm not done. I've got another pile here. Didn't I already put button cards in here? Yep, they're right there. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of those. These are not Mrs. Cogs. She might have images similar to these, but I think those were from Lindsay Zenor, Nevermore Creations. I've had them for a long time and I printed them twice by mistake. And so I have a ton of them and I've used a lot of them, but they're still there. That's adorable. I'm just gonna put that with ephemera instead of a journaling card.
got all these little round view masters. These are some Victorian cards, advertising cards that I had in my... I sold the cards, but I, pr I scanned them before I sold them. I got them in a scrapbook. And these are not digitals. Those are Anna Griffin pieces. There's Peter Pan and Wendy. I could have put that in the Peter Pan and Wendy journal I just made. Now I know these are Lindsay Zenor, so I'm not sure if those other ones are that I said were. It's just stuff that I've had for a really long time. This is not digital. Neither is that. But these are. There. So it's kind of arranged pretty much like I had it, but it's got fewer sections for one thing. It's got one, two, three, four sections, and I think it's going to work nicely. So what will I do with all the Mrs. Cogs? I don't really want to put them in a separate place, but it's nice to have them, well, oh, those aren't Mrs. Cogs. Nice to have them all together. So maybe I will, put these in more of these little glassine bags and just, they'll fit right there. Yeah, I'll just put them right there. That works. Okay, now I have emptied this box. I'm just gonna get rid of that. And three of these boxes. this box and that and I added two new trays and they are large but they don't take up they take up less space than one of these and it got all of these little things out of my um, three-tiered cart so it's going to be easier for me to access the cards and I will do something else with these. I may regret having put these labels on. I'll have to work to get those off. But yeah, now if I, like I said, I lost some space on these shelves because of having the camera set up there. But I am, you know, my brain is always thinking about where can this go? Where will I use this best and stuff like that. So I've got some things up there that can move because I want to keep all of these cards where I can just grab the box and have them while I'm working on my journals. So, yep, everything is still a work in progress. Eventually, you will get to see the space. And uh, I'm going to take a break now. And I hope you are having a creative and productive day today. Bye.